Yes, is being practiced in the courtrooms. They want judges in North Carolina to allow the Quran to be used as well as the Bible when swearing in witnesses. Just last week, the Greensboro Islamic Center offered to donate copies of the Muslim holy book to the courts. Judges in Greensboro said thanks, but no thanks. But joining me now from Washington, Arsalan Iftikhar, the National Legal Director of the Council on American Islamic Relations, known as CARE. Good to see you. Thank you very much. And with me here in Atlanta, Phil Kent, former president of the Southeastern Legal Foundation and author of The Dark Side of Liberalism. Good to see you as well. Thanks. Well, Phil, let me begin with you. How far does the legal system need to go? to recognize or respect all religions during a swearing-in? Well, in most courtrooms in the country, you can simply do an affirmation. You don't have to swear to an oath. And this is why the whole North Carolina thing is a publicity stunt. It's a, it's a promotion for multiculturalism with, with CARES agenda. Uh, just hold your hand up and swear and affirm to tell the truth. I mean, if you take their uh, argument to the logical conclusion that, well, I have to have a Koran because I'm Muslim, if you're an atheist, you have to have the book uh, the origin of the species and just swear on that, that's absurd. All right. Arsalan, how do you respond to that? Why not just refrain from swearing in on the Bible? Why not just uh, reaffirm? And that's it. Well, actually, uh, Mr. Kent is uh, m misunderstood when he talks about affirmations. Affirmations are used for people who are agnostic or atheist. The New York law states quite unequivocally that a person may uh, swear on the holy scriptures. Now, a judge in Guilford County, North Carolina, has decided that, uh, for some un reason unbeknownst to us, that the Quran is not a holy scripture. And the Supreme Court has found in numerous cases that any law, any state action, which gives a privilege or preference to one religion over any others is considered unconstitutional. So if the Bible is used, if the Quran is used, do you also believe that the courts have to recognize every other religious symbol or book in which to respect every witness's swearing in Absol and their religion? Absolutely. We are, we are a nation of pluralism and of many different faiths. And the Quran is as sacred to Muslims as the Bible is to Christians, as the Torah is to Jews. And, you know, we, we, we cannot take the word of some right-wing judge in North Carolina who is going to unilaterally decide what is a holy scripture and what is not, keeping in mind, Frederica, that the uh, administrative office of courts in North Carolina has already issued a preliminary ruling saying that Qurans will be allowed. They're going to come out with a final ruling in about another week. And, and apparently this week a number of North Carolina judges is already starting to discuss this during a conference and perhaps take it on to the next step. So Phil, at what point does multiculturalism go too far? Well, is this can, an issue of that? It is, but you can respect anything. And I, I disagree with my colleague here. You can just affirm and be sworn in in Georgia where I live, in North Carolina. I did some research. You can simply swear to tell the truth. So it's, a, again, a silly issue. You don't need to really get into it. I know CARE is trying to get publicity and raise money. But in North Carolina, there's also the issue of original intent. He talks about a right-wing judge and gets into name-calling. No, the original intent of that law was the Holy Scripture, was the Bible. Everyone knows that. Uh, it wasn't the Quran. Should it be the discretion of the judge? Yes, and it is now already. Arsalan, absolutely. do you want that changed? Oh, well, absolutely, and, and I think that this, this law will be challenged. And to correct Mr. Kent, uh, if you look at the history of America and the, the intent of the fo founding fathers, George Washington, in a treaty that he wrote that was ratified by the Senate, signed by President Adams in 1797, said quite unequivocally that the government of the United States not, is not in any sense based on the Christian religion. The concept of God is one of deism, which, uh, which respects a, a greater being, but we have to understand that the separation of church and state is a sacrosanct hallmark of our legal system, and many conservatives... This has nothing, many, to, do with, this has many, nothing to do with separation of church and it, state, as you well know. This, this tradition, many, it's tradition. Many conservative judges, including Sandra Day O'Connor, have said that any state action which gives any inclination to the reasonable person that non-adherence to a, f a faith are outsiders is unconstitutional. And essentially what this law is doing is saying that anyone who is not Christian is not 
their book is not considered holy, well, and that, in my opinion, is wrong. As you, as you well know, there's tradition that we stand up for a judge in an American courtroom. There's tradition that we swear in a Bible or just affirm uh, an oath to tell the truth. And why don't you just admit you don't like our Western traditions and our culture, and you're trying to attack it. Mr. Admit Ken, that. Mr. Ken, I'm an American. I am part of the Western tradition. I was then born respect and raised our in. Respect All this right, culture. Before I let you guys go, this last question, uh, Arsalan particularly, you know, what entity or who would be responsible for the proper storing of or caring of the religious symbols of a Bible or a Quran or anything else that might be allowed in court if it came to that so that no one would be able to say it's offensive as to which how something is being handled. Well, uh, you know, the, the controversy in North Carolina actually started when the Greensboro Islamic Center tried to donate copies of the Quran that they got on www.exploringthequr'an.com where we've given out 11,000 free Qurans to the general American public trying to show Americans that the 7 million Americans living in this country today are law-abiding and good citizens and part of the social fabric of this country. Okay. People like Mr. Kent are trying to marginalize uh, minority groups uh, and, and trying to pl uh, springboard their own uh, evangel uh, evangelistic platform. All right. Well, Phil, would that eventually be a problem, potentially, uh, the handling, the storage of the, the respect for these symbols if more than one religious symbol is allowed in the courtroom. Sure, and that's another problem. I think obviously all Americans show respect for all religious symbols. I certainly, uh, I would think if you took a poll, 99% of the American people would agree with that. It goes back to just simply affirming in a court of law that you're going to tell the truth, and a lot of this is just smoke screened by groups like CARE. All right, Phil Kent, uh, president or former president of the Southeastern Legal Foundation and uh, now president of the Phil Kent Consultants, and Arsalan Iftikhar, Legal Director, Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE. Thank you very much for joining us from Washington and Atlanta, gentlemen. Thanks. Thanks.